What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning into the Sneaker News YouTube channel. Um, today we have a brand new sneaker unboxing video for you. Uh, before we open what's inside this box, just do us a quick favor and hit that subscribe button. Uh, once you subscribe, you'll get to watch all our new videos. We upload new videos almost daily. And of course, turn on your notifications so you know exactly when we post new goods. All right, you guys ready? Today we are unboxing a pair of the Air Jordan 5 NRG Fresh Prints. Let's go. So as you guys know, this is a pair of the Air Jordan 5 Retro inspired by the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about this uh, collaboration style release, the origin of this colorway, and all the little details that go into the makeup of the shoe. And of course, we'll touch lightly upon how Jordan 5s fit and of course, resale prices and things of that nature. So as you guys know, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is a sitcom from NBC that starred Will Smith. It pretty much made his career. He went from being a sitcom star to a bona fide movie star. You know, after Fresh Prince ended, or even during its run, you know, he was in a lot of movies. In the 1990s, Will Smith, again, Independence Day, Bad Boys, and of course he, you know, catapulted that into one of the most successful movie star careers of all time. But before he was a movie star, he was obsessed with Jordans just like everybody else. And, you know, Air Jordans didn't really become like a lifestyle item until maybe the Jordan 3 and beyond. You know, if you guys remember the Jordan 1s and Jordan 2s weren't really popping in the streets, but it really wasn't until Tinker Hatfield's Jordan 3 that most of the shoes started to become popular among, you know, celebrities and particularly hip hop artists and actors and, of course, pretty much anyone who's interested in basketball and street culture. Of course, Jordan Brand decided to pay, you know, true homage to Will Smith. They're doing so with a release of the Air Jordan 5 in the original grape colorway. For those of you who do not know what the grape colorway is, it is one of the original colorways of the Air Jordan 5 that dropped back in 1990. And it's just a white leather upper, black on the heel, and on the midsole you have a pairing of grape and you have aqua on the forefoot and the same goes for the tongue. Now, this is at a time where Jordan Brand was going away from the classic black and red colors and they decided to dabble in more lifestyle off the court wear. So while there were other non-Bulls colored Jordans before this, the grape is definitely one of the more off the wall type of colorways that we saw. And of course, Nike at that time was toying around with, you know, neon and bright tones anyway. So the reason why they chose this colorway is because, you know, if you watch the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the opening theme features Will Smith wearing this particular shoe. And it's not just the grapes. He wore a bunch of the other Jordan 5s and a whole bunch of other Nike footwear as well. But the grape 5s is one of the ones that you definitely see more often. As you guys know, what makes this interesting release so controversial is that Jordan Brand not only didn't add any shoelaces as an homage to Will Smith and the Fresh Prince, there's actually no holes in the shoelaces. So even if you wanted to lace them up, you really couldn't. I'm sure there are a lot of purists out there who are a little bit disappointed that you can't just lace them up in the way you want to. But at this rate, the Jordan 5 grapes are probably going to release again at some point, maybe in 2020 when the Air Jordan 5 celebrates its own 30th anniversary. But anyway, there are some hidden details in this shoe that we like to go over. Of course, you have your classic construction of the Jordan 5. The leather on this material is much different from when the Jordan 5 was last released in mass. That was in 2013. This one kind of has like a tumbled, worn in sort of feel. Again, taking you back to the whole uh, vintage feel, I guess, with Jordans. Overall, the colorway is pretty on point with the original, but like we said, there are no shoelaces, as you can see and there are no lace holes. This is the first time Jordan Band re-released the grapes with the Nike Air on the heel, and this is a big deal because it's a true retro. It doesn't have the Jumpman. The last two releases had a Jumpman logo, but this Nike Air is what really gets you know OG fans very, very excited. A quick shot of the heel. Again, you have the white midfoot with the translucent forefoot and the heel, the teal color Jumpman with the black toe cap. Uh, nothing too crazy there, but now this is where things get a little more exciting. To celebrate Fresh Prince's show, there's a custom insole that has pink and yellow bold striping. This is kind of a nod to the, the wild clothing that Will Smith wears on the show. You know, if you guys don't really know too much about the Fresh Prince, he's from the hood in West Philly. He gets chased out by gang members, and then he's kind of living with a very, very affluent relative and uncle named Uncle Phil, rest in peace, Mr. Avery. Of course, you have the Air Jordan in the Fresh Prince font, 
And another dope detail about this shoe is that if you look closely at the tongue, you see the words West Philadelphia etched into the base of this fabric tongue. And that's important because that's a nod to where Will Smith, the fictional character, is from. In addition to these not having any lace holes, even if you want to punch holes in them, you can't because it's actually stitched together. They want you to wear these without laces. You know, that's about it. This is the Air Jordan 5 NRG Fresh Prince. This is a shoe that, you know, a lot of people were interested in when it first leaked. But there are a few other things that uh, Jordan Brand did to make this a little interesting. Uh, basically, Will Smith created a fake satire Instagram account and even a YouTube channel called Phila Sneaker Guy. Basically, it's just him kind of poking fun at the whole sneaker unboxing culture, the first look culture. So he actually unboxed these shoes for the first time and also he revealed that gold friends and family pair, which are super limited. They're only going to friends and family. And of course, the most important detail about the release is that it fell on September 25th, 2018, which is Will Smith, the actual guy, his 50th birthday. So overall, Jordan Brand hit all the details, you know, on point. They kept the grapes, you know, nice and original. They added their own little twist. They paid homage to Will Smith and one of the most important cultural references in Air Jordan history. You know, this was something for the culture, as they say. But we expect Jordan Brand to release them in standard traditional laced form sometime in 2020 when they celebrate the 30th anniversary of the air drone 5 of course that remains to be seen but yeah you know it's been you know over five years since we last saw the grape fives you know there was another air drone 5 that dropped in 2013 that was nicknamed the fresh prince and that's because it had this crazy you know gray and black upper with this wild color palette that again was supposed to mimic this sort of color scheme from will smith's crazy clothing and t-shirts and his very disruptive personality to the whole country club atmosphere of Bel Air. But this was again, very well done. The resale prices are not too much above what they sold for retail, which was 190 bucks. Resale is probably around 250 and over time that number will probably go up a little by little. But you know, Air Jordans in general these days don't really resell for too much unless it's some sort of off-white or some rare collaboration. But if you're a fan of the Jordan 5, this is definitely something that you probably enjoyed. If you're a fan of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, again, you probably enjoy these. You know, they kept all the details OG. You know, some people hope that they will drop again with laces and only time will tell. But, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, it's a Jordan 5, stay true to size. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned a little bit something. If there's any other Air Jordan that you'd like to see us unbox, you know, hit us in the comments. We'll do our best to respond. And of course, subscribe. We are posting new videos almost daily, so definitely gonna wanna join in on our YouTube fun. So again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.